Today I'm going to be replacing the mixing valve on the shower. This valve is not uh, delivering hot water uh, anymore. And we've had previous valves like this that do the same thing. They don't deliver hot water. And the mixing assembly inside is plastic and it really, it really can't clean it. You have to replace it. And it seems like the uh, replacements don't last very long either. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace this whole assembly including the valve the uh, spout that has a diverter the new assembly is going to have a diverter built into it so you won't need a diverter spout and also the uh, shower head so i'm gonna pretty much attack this from the back okay i removed the drywall from behind the shower and that exposes the back of the valve uh, the supplies on this unit are PEX and there's two sweat soldered connections, one for the spout and one for the shower head. So we're gonna, we've got the water shut off uh, for the whole house because this does not have local shutoffs so we have to go ahead and shut the whole house down and we'll get started on it. Okay. And a set screw on the handle. Okay, that's pretty much it from the front. Okay, here's a tube cutter. The copper is sweated into the valve body. And I won't be able to do that in the replacement because it has a, some plastic in the body and they don't want um, a flame near the body. So we'll have to do our sweat connections a little further away, a few inches away from the body. connections tubing off. It won't fit through the wall. I had to cut the spout uh, fitting off for it to fit through the wall. 
So this is the old uh, and this box will uh, replace that. This has some nice features in it. The verter is the diverter will be built into it. It has its own shutoffs, so you can work on the body without shutting off the main house water. So uh, this is a nice upgrade, I think. <clears throat> okay, the uh, surround is fiberglass, so it wasn't too difficult to cut that open open that up another quarter inch or so all the way around and that's the uh, the box placed in the hole um, I'm gonna have a small issue with that stud there it's close to the box and it doesn't look like I'll have enough room to make the PEX connection as it is so I'm gonna extend that copper out past the uh, stud so um, do the crimping of the PEX connection on the other side of that on the right hand side of the stud okay I'm gonna do some soldering I'm using the existing piping for this spout but I had to modify it somewhat cut it and resolder it so uh, we'll solder it down fitting for the spout. Okay, I've opened up the hole with the hole saw that goes through the stud to give me some room to put the uh, copper pipe extension on the box to allow me to make the PEX connection on the other side of the stud. I'm now going to solder the uh, shower head connection. Okay, the PEX connections are next. If you don't have a uh, compression tool 
I think you can get uh, PEX connections that just uh, you can use with ordinary hand tools. I think they're shark bites, so you don't need the uh, compression tool because it's kind of for a one-time use. It's like 50 bucks, and that's kind of steep. Okay, I have the house water back on. Um, <clears throat> one nice thing about these uh, ants grow. Uh, boxes for the mixing valve is that they have uh, service stops inside of them and you can have the whole front torn apart and yet be able to uh, shut the house water off or not have to have the house water turned off while working on it so that it is a nice plus okay I've bolted a piece of plywood to the back of the uh, valve body and this way it'll secure we'll secure this to the wall and that way the valve body isn't just supported by the uh, piping okay I put in some plywood scraps that'll be the backer for uh, when I put all the pieces of drywall that I cut out I'll replace all those as a next step Okay, I have all the drywall pieces that I cut out of there are back in place. And I use fiberglass uh, drywall tape on them. And all we need to do now is uh, So we'll sand that down, probably give it one more coat, and then put some paint on it, and that should be on the back side of it. Okay, back, back to the front side of the valve. Um, I caulked the clear silicone uh, between the box and the, uh, the wall, and then they just have you cut off with a pair of shears or something, any plastic that pursued so you roughly are, uh, you won't have any big protrusions and the wall, the plastic is made to be cut and trimmed depending on your wall size. And then this uh, hex is to turn the water on. There's two stops and the water is turned on now. So that makes it nice in case you ever have to work on this assembly, the actual mixing valve itself that unbolts and you can either change it out or uh, clean it out. So it's a nice feature. So I'll put some more pieces on. Uh, there's a few more pieces installed. The back plate and uh, uh, trim sleeves around the uh, mixing valve assembly. Okay, that is the uh, valve pretty much assembled. And we need to keep in mind that these pieces go on with Allen uh, screws and they're metric, so you need to get uh, metric, not, uh, not US. This is a Hans Grohe. Uh, valve that replaces an inexpensive color job. It has a built-in diverter, 
so this spout doesn't have a diverter and it uh, just has a single handle mixer it goes to hot and you can switch it over to the over to the shower with the valve there and that's the shower we can turn it off with the diverter it goes back down the spout and you just single handle to turn it off.